How is quantum computing going to change our perceptions of how we view things like artificial intelligence and even our own minds? Well, don't hate me, but to get deeper into this topic, I have an update from INQ that's two weeks old. So long story short, now that I actually have some time, I figured as usual, it's better late than never to cover this quick update. So let's jump right into this, cause I actually think this one is really interesting. IonQ, which is currently an industry leader in quantum computing, announced the results from its early research into applying quantum computers for modeling human cognition. And to this, the recently published paper actually describes the world's first publicly known method in which basic human cognition models have been run on quantum hardware paving the way for the potential development of improved decision-making models that imitate human thought. So let's break this down a bit. The research was conducted with an international team of quantum researchers, and the research paper I mentioned represents a starting point for developing quantum circuits that implement mathematical models of cognition, which is essentially just encoding mental states in qubit registers and cognitive operations using different gates and measurements in the quantum system. And moreover, since the 1960s, cognitive psychologists have sought to understand the correlation between the ways questions are posed and how participants would actually respond. The concept of quantum probability effectively describes some of these relationships. However, it wasn't until recently that quantum hardware actually reached the point where quantum probability models could actually be investigated and tested. So needless to say, this is some pretty cutting edge stuff to say the least. I think INQ's research demonstrates how quantum circuits can represent better understandings of how humans think between two related concepts, categorizing how the closeness of one's proposition can influence another more than it would have been isolated. So if that doesn't make sense, let me actually provide you with an example. A study found that on average, people are willing to pay $26 in exchange for a $50 gift certificate, but they would only be willing to pay $16 for a chance to either win a $50 or a $100 gift certificate with equal probability. Why exactly is this? And another less abstract way to demonstrate the plausibility of quantum models of cognition is to think more about instances where we answer questions through pre-existing conclusions. Let's take colors for example. Once we've been told that purple colored wine is actually red wine, or that the brown colored leaves are actually called red leaves, we don't question it. We've learned that the word red can be used to describe these not so quite red things because the red label is close enough, meaning that we have no trouble associating these non-red things with the color red in the future. And speaking of the future, more complex circuits can potentially lead to better decision-making models, which can be used to anticipate the results of elections, unravel unconscious biases, or, to the chagrin of many I'm sure, produce increasingly tailored ads down to an individual's personal preferences. In fact, if you're interested in some more examples of how this technology can be used to understand the human mind, I urge you to check out this blog post on INQ's website further explaining the research methodology and results. I'll have a link to the description for those of you who are interested. And according to Peter Chapman, the CEO and president of INQ, he stated, and I quote, the potential impact of quantum computers capable of emulating human decision-making processes cannot be overstated as such a feature comes closer to reality. This breakthrough holds immense potential for fields like generative AI, empowering the creation of sophisticated and nuanced artificial intelligence systems capable of generating highly realistic and creative outputs. With quantum computing's unparalleled computational power, today's research lays the crucial groundwork for developing an intricate network of correlations that will fuel the pursuit of future innovations. So yeah, I think this research further demonstrates INQ's position as a global leader and innovator in the field of quantum computing. Whether it's using quantum hardware to model human cognition or developing quantum networks, INQ is continuing to build upon its reputation as a world-class quantum computing company, showing off the most powerful commercially available quantum system on the market currently 
and signing multiple partnerships with commercial and government organizations, including Airbus, GE, Dow Chemistry, Hyundai Motors, and the US Air Force Research Laboratory. And I think it's going to be really interesting to see how this kind of quantum technology affects artificial intelligence and our perception of the human mind. And with that, I think I'd like to wrap up the video here. Thanks as always, and I'll catch you next time.